mentality at practice knowing that it is game week? Definitely we bought the energy today. We, we've been bringing the energy during camp, but everyone knows it's game week, so everyone's amped. Coaches are amped, players are amped, and we're just excited to play. We're, we're excited to put all the pieces together, things we worked during, worked on during camp, and we're just excited to go. Now when you look, you look at Moorhead State, what kind of jumps out to you on film right away? Well, you see that they're, they're a good team. Um, the team we played last year is not the same team we're going to play this year. They definitely got better during the duration of the season last year. So we're going to play a good team on Saturday. We never underestimate our teammates. So we're working We're working to play a really good really good game. Obviously, their quarterback is is pretty talented passer. How much, I guess, is the emphasis of to get to him this, this week? I'm, I'm sure you're you're anxious to go hit another quarterback that, that's not Brian or Connor. Definitely. Um, Saturday, we're going to be able to play without breaks, you know, because we obviously can't hit our quarterbacks. But it's, he's a great player, and we're going to have to play really disciplined football. So um, obviously getting there, getting sacks is important, but obviously playing a run is just as important. So you got to stop the run in order to get to the uh, pass. Please. Yeah, that, that obviously makes a lot of sense. When, when you look at, I guess, uh, just how they line up, are they kind of a bigger offensive line than they were a year ago? I don't know if you looked at their depth chart at all. Are they, are they bigger than they were up front last year? Well, I know they have some returning guys. Um, they are a big front. Um, but I'm excited just to see how better we got as a defensive line, you know, how better we got up front. And I'm excited because I know everybody else is just as excited to play against a uh, good offensive line. So we're just going to use our techniques, use what we've been coached to do. And um, from that, we'll play fast and have a good day. So. You mentioned your defensive line. Where, where do you think you guys have grown the most, I guess, over the last month going into this first game? I feel like in terms of technique-wise, everybody's been focused on getting hand placement on their guy, um, staying in their gaps, and really just playing as a team defense. You can't try to make every other play that somebody else is supposed to make. So Coach Hanson emphasizes staying in your gap, uh, playing the quarterback on replays, and uh, we're just we're just uh, containing the quarterback also, but um, also just being a defensive uh, discipline front. You guys are probably going to rotate a good number of bodies on, on, on the defensive line. What do you think, six, seven guys probably? Well, I know there's a few. We have a good backup, so obviously the starters can't play the whole game. You know, it's rare when you find something like that. So, yeah, we're going to have some guys in there rotating uh, at defensive end and at defensive tackle, outside linebacker, cat. So, yeah, we should have a good rotation going on. and. Well, you know, stars are going to play. Backups are going to back up. We just need we need the backups to be just as good as the starters. What do you think? You're going to be have, have your hand more in the ground, more standing up, or uh, how would you how would you put it for this week? Well, I'm going to do whatever I'm coached to do, whatever it takes to win the game, whatever it takes to stop that offense from getting yards on us. I'll do whatever it takes. Makes sense. John Dak, I just wanted to ask you about him a little bit. How much has he impressed you coming in as a, as a true freshman and, and showing that he can at least at least compete in practice? Well, I'm, I've definitely been impressed by what John has been able to do and how he's been able to mature so quickly. You know, as a freshman, I know when I came in, I wasn't ready to play. Um, so he's come in and he's really taking coaching. There's down days, there's up days, but he doesn't get down, he doesn't get depressed, he just keeps working. And, uh, that's really important, and uh, that, that's really gratifying as a defensive uh, team to know that you have someone like that who's willing to get in there and work.